This month has been, I have to say, one of the top performing months that I've had this year for my personal brand. So I thought for today's video, we would talk about the wins of this month, what I've learned content-wise, and how I'm going to carry this over for the month of June. Hey guys, it is Faith. Welcome back to another video on the channel. So today we're going to be talking about my social media content strategy for the month of June. And I have to say May was one of my favorite months content wise and also performance wise. I grown a lot across all my social media platforms this month. One of my TikToks has reached almost half a million views as I'm filming this. I reposted that video onto my Instagram reel and as I'm filming this it has 36,000 views which is my most viewed video on Instagram Reels and then another Instagram Reel I have currently has over 20,000 views and obviously it's not about the money but my Google AdSense revenue is targeted to surpass my average revenue that I've been getting the last few months. So obviously it's been a really, really good month and I wanted to talk about what my strategy was coming into this month and what I've learned and how I'm going to change up my strategy for next month. You always gotta be switching new strategies every month because every social media platform is different and the algorithm changes all the time so you gotta learn to adapt to that. So hopefully this video helps you kind of think of your own strategy for this next month, whether it's for your personal brand or for a client it. Hopefully this helps. So what I wanted to focus on the most this month was making more Pinterest pins. Now, Pinterest has a weird algorithm where it's not necessarily how much you post, but how consistent you post. So Pinterest will favor accounts that are going to be posting consistently. So they know that they're going to be posting at 1 p.m every single day. They're gonna push that account more than if you post 15 times on a Monday, zero times on a Tuesday, five times on a Wednesday. So it's more quality over quantity for your Pinterest. So what I've been doing this month is I have been taking my TikToks and my Instagram Reels and just dumping them onto Pinterest using a keyword research strategy that I have for Pinterest. Basically, I'm just putting recycled content onto my Pinterest. I'm going to be focusing more on video this month. So for video content wise, I have always made a plan to film TikToks and then I repost them on Instagram Reels and then Pinterest. So basically all of my social media accounts are pretty much synced up. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably get the same content as you do on TikTok. Now that's where this month's strategy comes in. I kind of want to create more content that's exclusive to each platform. I'm still going to be recycling some video content, but if you follow me on Instagram, you're gonna get different content than you do if you follow me on Pinterest, if that makes sense. For TikTok, I've noticed that more spontaneous content performs a lot better. And this month I wanna do more talking TikToks, more original audio TikToks, where I'm just like sitting down and getting ready and talking about the products I use. And maybe some original sounds of like ASMR cleaning. I'm definitely gonna be testing out the type of content that's going to perform well on TikTok but I'm definitely gonna be making more spontaneous TikToks because these days you kind of have to post like two, three times a day to kind of be considered active. So if I post more spontaneous TikToks and more raw content on there, then I'm gonna reach that goal a lot faster. Versus if I make a video specifically for short form content and it takes me maybe about a week to put together and to edit and post, I feel like the spontaneous content is gonna be not only more on trend, but also just showing a real side of me. Now, the more put together videos, the more aesthetic videos, I wanna put on Instagram Reels and Pinterest because I know those are gonna perform so well. And I'll probably sprinkle in some of those videos on TikToks and maybe even Shorts, which we'll get into Shorts in a second. But I feel like for Instagram, I wanna curate a casual aesthetic feed. So diving deeper into Instagram, I wanna be posting more video content and I feel like like putting videos out is so much easier than posting photos on Instagram. And I think I know why. It's because I love the idea of an aesthetic feed on Instagram. I love following feeds that are aesthetic. And for me, I have a feed builder app where you know I rearrange the photos to build like 
a great feat. And I've noticed that I'm kind of too in my head on that. And moving forward, I want my Instagram feed to still stay neutral and still very aesthetic, but I don't want to put a lot of focus on to the pictures that I'm posting, if that makes sense. I want to post more real time photos because I used to like bank some up for like a couple weeks to a month and then I'll start posting them. I'd rather stay active on Instagram stories and post content on reels since that's the content that's being pushed out right now than to be so in my head about the feed. My goal for Instagram is to be posting reels very regularly and be posting in feed photos, I wanna say like maybe once a week. So now that we're done talking about Instagram, let's talk about Pinterest. Now, for me personally, I feel like Pinterest is so slept on as far as growing on social media. And it's actually, surprisingly, my most followed platform. Um, I have about 8,000 followers on there, which is so crazy. And I've actually posted a few idea pins, which is basically like stories, I guess you could say, but they like last forever and not 24 hours. It's a whole thing. I highly recommend researching it if you don't know about idea pins because that is your key to success. But a couple of my idea pins have gone pretty viral. I want to say one of them is almost at 600,000 impressions. So I have gained a ton of growth in Pinterest. So I definitely want to keep up that momentum. And if I have to recycle some Instagram reels or some TikTok content, then I will for Pinterest. But I definitely want to implement a better SEO strategy for Pinterest. Now, if you don't know what SEO means, it means search engine optimization. So overall, I just want better keywords for my Pinterest pins to reach more people and to grow more followers on there. Now, I don't have a set goal for Pinterest. I just have the followers on Pinterest. So I don't really have a place for them to migrate. Um, sometimes I have some like to know it posts on there. Uh, so if I'm like posting an outfit photo, I have affiliate links to my outfit details. I kind of want to migrate them over to YouTube. So I'm just going to test out, see what content continues to be performing well and determining where I want my followers to go. Next up is YouTube. YouTube is hit or miss sometimes, I have to say. The YouTube algorithm is constantly, constantly changing, but I've learned the absolute most with YouTube this month. You know, I started my series on my channel very recently talking about social media because I'm very, very passionate in it, if you could tell. But my social media series has actually performed so, so well. My user-generated content video has been performing the best because I just posted a video on it. And as I'm filming this right now, it has over 400 views. And I want to say it's been getting about 50 to 100 views per day, which is actually really, really good for my channel. So I definitely want to continue making content about social media, but I don't want to go too off niche because I feel like my channel is lifestyle, vlogs, beauty, and fashion. And as I've been posting more consistently, I'm recognizing what content is working and what content isn't. And I feel like the social media series is working the absolute best right now. My cleaning content is doing well. I feel like that's a really good foot in the door in the productivity style niche. So I feel like I'm lifestyle and productivity right now, not lifestyle, beauty, and fashion. Though some of my fashion videos have done pretty well, my makeup videos have tanked. Mm -mm. I, I don't think I'm gonna be doing a dedicated makeup video for a long time. I probably will include some makeup stuff in my vlogs, but I'm just gonna continue posting vlogs whether it performs well or not because I personally love vlogging. I love showing my day-to-day -day life. It's great to look back on. So I'm gonna continue posting vlogs, but I'm also gonna be posting more social media and productivity style vlogs. I feel like I'm in a really good place with YouTube right now and I'm definitely seeing the growth and I'm very, very excited for what's to come and what kind of content is. I've actually have had like a whole creative session recently of like upcoming video ideas. So I'm feeling very excited for YouTube. And as far as short form content goes, um, I have been posting some YouTube shorts here and there and they've actually been performing very well. So for the month of June, you might be seeing more YouTube shorts on the channel, um, whether it's like mini vlogs or maybe tidbits about social media. Probably one short a week for right now. So you'll get one long form video and one shorts, if that makes sense. So 
that's kind of what I'm seeing right now for YouTube and that's what I'm seeing for all of my social media right now. Recap, I'm gonna be focusing more on short form video content this month on all of my social media platforms, primarily on TikTok. I feel like TikTok is the best platform for the topics I'm talking about alongside YouTube. Definitely gonna be focusing more on TikTok going to be focusing more on Instagram reels than in feed posts. I'm going to figure out what kind of content works on Pinterest and I'm going to continue posting the content I am on YouTube consistently per usual, but also sprinkle in some shorts. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and got some ideas for your content strategies for yourself or your, for your clients. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, leave some feedback down in the comments below. And because we're talking about social media, all my social media links will be linked down below so you can follow me anywhere you want and follow my journey on my strategy for the month of June. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video really soon. Bye!